congratulations. I know I said this last Friday, and if you think back to it then, it seems kind of pointless because that was in the past. We're in the now. It's Friday. Although, when I'm actually recording this, Friday was yesterday, and me saying congratulations, you made it to Friday. It just seems weird to me. This is Italy. Potentially. Nope, this is uh, France. Ter the, the reason I said Italy was terracotta roofs, and I saw that one building being made that was cinder block, and I'm like, I think I felt like I've seen that in, excuse me, in Italy before. But no, this is totally France. All right, now it's just a matter of finding out where in France, and we're not going to find out this way. So we have to turn around. Okay. Um, so narrowing this down, see there's a terracotta roofs, which are a Mediterranean thing, which makes me feel like we're on this side of the coast. Hopefully I am right. I don't think this is Monaco, though I have no idea. I've never been to Monaco. This is a beautiful house that never has to mow anything. Just fight hundreds and hundreds of bees. Oh God, the bees. All right, here we go. Maison, Franconville. It's the row of Mary the the nose, because it probably smells so nice there. Let's see. Something's happening the nineteenth of July through August seventeenth. This seems to be some sort of French workers' party. I'm guessing, just going by pictures, I don't really know. Let's hopefully find some more information out, because I still don't know where the hell this is. Other than I feel like this is Mediterranean France, just because of the roofs. That's what I'm sticking with. I hope I'm right. I need to get like into a bigger road here, and it's not happening. Get me, get me this way. Get me down there. Why? You, you know what I want. Just fucking do it. Of course. Of course. This is a pretty badass crest or family, I whatever the hell it's called. I think I looked up one of those things once on the internet and I'm 100% sure that it was uh, fake. Because I think most families, you probably Google search for that is a tiny cute house. You Google search like family crest or whatnot. It's just going to come up with one of two things. Either a website where you have to pay $50 for someone to find it for you. Or it'll just be like a generic smattering of like two or three medieval imagery images. I almost feel like for some reason this is a this is dumb, but it would be diabolical if it was the case that this is actually like a isolated French town somewhere in Asia. Just because I saw that tiny car, but I'm pretty sure everything this is one hundred percent France. I mean if it turns out that somehow I got it right, I feel like I should get like a million points even though this is dot fr. That would be a great prank to do on somebody like I know somewhere in China they have like I think a French style village this is like in a town fucking twice in a row we went outside Paris that's just me being dumb and going on a hunch of terracotta roofs so I deserve the score I got there but I believe that there's a French style city in somewhere in China. Like I hear stories about people building massive buildings, houses, I think entire towns and or cities in China. No one lives there. It's just empty. I said forward. You heard me click. Why didn't it move? So this is Scandinavia again. I just don't know where. Now that last episode I was thrown for a loop that 
things that could potentially be Swedish or also Estonian. Like the post office's post post office sign can be it's not just a Swedish thing. Probably 99% of the time when I see a picture for it, it is, but not in this case. I don't know what country this is. Like, if I see this and then that, does that mean it's Finland? Like, I don't know. I need someone to tell me. If I go this way, maybe I cannot go that way. Anybody have a sign anywhere? I cannot go off this road. Fine. Okay. You now tell me. I am now in your country. Thank you, Van. Now, I know I know I mentioned before, but what is the difference between Norwegian, Finnish, and Swedish? Can one talk to the other? And get like 90, 75% of what they're saying? Or is it like French and German? Or like maybe they sh it comes from the bay, the same bay base root language? But not all the words, like some of the words can translate, but for the most part, no, you can't understand them. Or is it like English and Japanese? Like, I, I don't know. Japanese has three languages. It's crazy. Or at least word structure. They have katakana, hirokana, and kanji. If I remember right, kanji is their base. Katakana is for words that are foreign, but they're written. So they're like uh, phonetically written, I think. And then what was hiragana? I don't remember. One's like more complex. One's the base one. Like there's like the symbol for like cat. And then there's actually like. Okay, that symbol means cat, but then also like Nako. Like the two like little symbols that make up Nako. I guess that's Hiragana. It's been a very long time, and I don't remember much from it. The only thing I remember from my Japanese class was it was the only one that was actually open and taught on 9-11, the actual 9-11 when it happened. And that the two professors we had were totally blown away by the thought that we actually had spaghetti and meatballs because in Japan I believe they didn't have meatballs they just had meat sauce like a bolognese that's all I remember from the class I've spent I did the math and it's about $500 a course when I went to school at the University of Vermont and the only thing I remember from and a semester's worth of schooling was meatballs, and she taught on 9-11 when no one else did. That's it. First impressions, England. I think this is France again. All this week, my uh, quote-unquote first impressions have been 100% wrong, although this is a Ford. Do they sell Fords in France? They probably do. I've just never seen... Uh... All right, we're near a school. Where are the terraces? Did I see a sign anywhere? No. Well, they're open because Uvert is open. Ferm is closed. IED promotion space for sale. Dot .fr, so 100% sure of the country. Everything has been a suburb of Paris, so I am just going to click around Paris. You have browbeaten me enough to accept that everything is now around Paris, even though it's D198. And I probably have to go real far to find D198. There's no way I was going to be that lucky that I was going to find it just right there. And the one thing I know about French roads, 
There's no D-198. Oh my Christ. Now I'm hyper concerned because I know that roads can go forever in France. And this isn't the only one D-198. But I feel I've got it just out of dumb, dumb luck. All right, D-307. Now, if I end up across a D-307, that is going to blow my mind. I'm sure that D-198 gets used many times, so I can't say for certain this is exactly where we are. Well, let's do... It's the something of King... Oh man. I'm com I'm like 75% that I got the road, but I still would not be surprised at 307 that this actually is not it and it's actually somewhere else because I don't know. I don't I don't feel like I've got it, but I other than saying that 16,000 more times I'm just going to keep going this way and maybe find some more information. Maybe get to a highway. This is near the border of Germany. See, this is why I feel like I didn't... That it, it wasn't there. I have 30-something seconds. Unless I see a D-198 over here. Because why would they have... It's it's their sister city of Rosath? D-307. It's Crespierre's. Where did I put my... It's Crespierre's. Crespierre's is not near there. So, see, this isn't it. How far off was I? Alright, you know what? Everything is a, is a suburb of Paris. See, and also D307. There's D198 again. See, there's D198 down there. No stars. You didn't earn it this time. Because I didn't earn it this time. I don't know where this is. I hate this road already because it's... I'm not going... There's nothing on it. It's just... Somewhere in Europe. Probably Russia. Although Russian bus stops are usually that, like... Concrete, hollowed out, little building thing. And that was just a bench. This is world. It's not on Europe. I don't know what car this is. I think it's a Ford... What side of the road are we driving on? You're driving on the non-British side. Alright. Back up to see this car. Car. Is this Scandinavia? This is a BMW. That doesn't tell me anything. If it tells you anything, congratulations. If you've been here, I am jealous. We're near Sagas. Oh, fuck you for... Stop blurring things. Sveska... No? Scan See, maybe I'm just doing reverse psychology, and every time I say it's Russia, I'm just doing it so it actually isn't Russia, and I actually have a better chance of getting an okay score this round. Maybe that's what I'm doing, and I'm just not even consciously aware of it. That's another annoying thing I have. I should probably start writing down some of these ideas because some things I want to talk about, I usually realize I want to talk about them and I have like very little time left. But that's on me. I should probably do... I'm going to write this stuff down. All right, so... Keep a Wi-Fi for cars and motorcycles? Like, what does this mean? I don't know what any of this means. I need a highway sign, please. Give me anything. You're not doing any of that. And now I've already forgot what I was 
going to talk about. And you know, if you remember on Monday when I was trying to remember who the hell that guy was, I still don't know. I just forgot completely about it. Now I feel like this is no longer Scandinavia because of that. Is this Estonia again? Am I like... This thing. I feel that that thing is throwing me off from thinking this is Scandinavia now. I've not seen any information anywhere. I need like Oh, thing. I'm I'm getting flustered. All of my predisposed information and knowledge, and that is a big bird's nest for whatever bird that is. And what I think I know is what is no longer happening because Estonia has now flipped flipped the script. Like that that has to be No. We are now down here. We are right there. I feel that this is Czech or Slovakian. Those two umlauts. Oh, now now I'm not sure. Did I just f fuck myself over? They're using words to make me think it's Central Europe, but these trees make me feel like it's fucking Lithuania. Okay, so... Shut up, phone. What did we learn about Lithuania today? It's now mudding the water when it comes to delineating between sections when I see accent points. So Lithuania uses what I feel Czech Republic uses for wording with Scandinavian words. Man, these, these three countries... Like, all I need now is Estonia, Lithuania, and... What was the other one? I'm sorry, other one. These three I usually remember. I can't... Uh, Latvia. Those three countries are uh, throwing everything I thought I knew for a loop now. This is America somewhere. I just don't know. I need to see... License plate style does not... Does not distinguish... Like, there's... I... There's no distinguishing factors on them yet. This could be Texas. No one has a flag up in their yard. Texas usually does that. But I'll take whatever I can get here. We're just doing a loop. I'm going to hit home. Go this way. I need to get out of this little suburban... Did I go... I'm going to go this way. I think I'm doing a loop again because I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm just doing a loop again because I'm an idiot. I can't even remember what I clicked on three seconds ago. Go this way and try to get out of here. Hopefully this is the way out. Hopefully this is the way out. This reminds me of someplace, the one other one that was in South Carolina. I forget how long ago that episode was. But I think I was talking about hurricanes and why I would never want to live in a place that has them. Like we had a pretty bad thunderstorm here like a week or so ago, and apparently we got some pretty nasty hail. However, I didn't notice it, because I was think I was inside doing some work on something. This that's just speed limit, that tells me nothing. This car this this truck. Still nothing. That's probably just like a Dealership plate. No, he's too far ahead. Man. We're here. I don't know where. Potentially there. Wait a minute. Alright. So it's the Confederate flag in the corner with red, white, blue, white, and red. What state is that? It is not South Carolina. It is not Tennessee. It is not Georgia. I gotta go over these states. 
Not Florida. It's not North Carolina. It's not Tennessee. Is it Mississippi or Alabama? One of these states is just like a blue black round with their state seal on it. It is not Georgia from what I can remember. It is definitely not South Carolina and it's not Florida. I'm gonna say it's Mississippi. There's only a select few states that actually have the uh, Confederate flag still in it. And I don't think with 43 seconds left I want to get into the whole Confederate flag thing. Or if maybe you don't understand what the Confederate flag is and why it was such a big deal in the news. I'll just do the quick 30 second synopsis of it. I'm finding every dead end and it's driving me nuts. So when the U.S. had their Civil War, there was the North and the South. And the South had the Confederate flag as their flag. And I think the U.S. just had their, I think, well, the original U.S. flag with the 13 colonies on it. I don't think I'm just doing loops now. And... You know, the Civil War ended, the North won, and they're just using it as kind of like a cultural thing of like, hey, this is where we are. I am I feel like I needed to do more time to actually suss it out. And again, coming up with all this information on the last... Oh, we were way down near the water, huh? I got the state right, though. Coming up with it in the last 30 seconds is not always the uh, best way to do it. And... Not happy with that score, mainly because of this. Because these three countries are ruining everything I thought I knew about Europe and 100% getting this one wrong too. But hey, another week down. Lessons learned. Knowledge gained. Facts understood. Um subverted what is the all right you know what i'm gonna do this right now so we can all see it tommy lee fucking jones why couldn't i remember tommy lee jones jesus christ it has been a three day saga for that oh but i feel better now I'm going to forget that information in like three seconds. Or if you ask me that in three days, I'm just going to know, oh, Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, whatever. But whatever. That's another week down, folks. You made it. Congratulations. Enjoy your weekend. While you're enjoying the weekend, could you please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Give me more tips to help me figure out European languages. I needed all the help I can get because I'm not doing a very good job of it on my own. Uh, but we'll be back on Monday. We hope to see you here. And, uh, see some more GeoGuessr. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy my weekend seven days from now. I hope you do, too. Goodbye.